Good evening and welcome to Lincoln View High School. It is the first night of the Northwest Conference Volleyball season here, and WSN is here to bring you a matchup of the Lincoln View Lancers and the Crestview Knights. My name is Mark Shine. My pleasure to do play-by-play -play alongside my good friend, Dave Bowen. Dave, you and I were texting back and forth last night. Crestview was in the middle of a five-set match. Lincoln View also was playing five sets, and I said, I hope they got something left in the tank for the night, and you said? Both teams will. It's Crestview versus Lincoln View. It is, and two teams coming into this, both of them did, by the way, win those five set matches last night. Lincoln View defeated Elida, Crestview defeated Parkway in two very competitive matches, obviously. That means that the Crestview Knights are four and two. Your, kind of your thoughts on the Crestview Knights season so far. Well, Mark, it's great to be your wingman this evening for this fantabulous county rival match between the Lady Knights and the Lincoln View Lady Lancers. Crestview, they're four and two. They're coming off of that big victory over number six in Division Six Parkway last night. Crestview themselves ranked number 12. That was a big match for the Lady Knights. They were down two sets to zero and had their backs against the wall. And Coach Gregory was very, very pleased with how her team reacted in that situation, that adversity, grit, determination. They come back with three sets and the win makes them four and two right now. They're ready to go into league action tonight. Lincoln View is seven and one on the season. They had just the opposite last night with Elida. They won the first two sets, dropped the middle two sets, and then came back to win 15, 13, and, and they're ready at seven and one. They've got a really good season going too. Yes, perseverance to come back and finish that off when everything is going against you, to come back in that fifth set and get momentum back on your side and get the W. The Lady Lancers, as you said, seven and one. This opens Northwest Conference play tonight. Both teams zero and zero. The championship the last several years has gone through Crestview and Lincoln View. You sort of hate to have it be the first league match of the year, but the rotation, that's what happens. you got to be ready to go. Our first set today is brought to you by Lee Kinsel Chevrolet GMC on Irwin Road here in Van Wert. Take a look at our pre-owned specials at LeeKinsel.com. We should mention that the typical coach here at Lincoln View, Janai Evans, is not here this evening. Dave? She's with her sixth grade daughter on the sixth grade Washington, D.C. trip for Lincoln View. And that's great that she's there with her yep. and Megan Ryan, her varsity assistant, taking the reins over this week. And again, she gets the win last night versus Elida. She's got this team ready to go against Crestview tonight. Our premier sponsor tonight is the Carey Insurance in Grover Hill. Call or stop by so we can assist you with all your insurance needs. Our officials tonight on the stand, our R1 is Rhonda Bellman. And on the floor this evening, our R2 is Steve Trout. And Mr. Trout is going to go down and talk to the students about what they are allowed to do and not allowed to do on the baseline tonight. Veteran officials, both of them. Yes, and that's a great job of setting the tone early on. Talking to the Crestview student section uh, to our left, the Lincoln View student section to our right, and Lincoln View is going to start with the serve. Ashlyn Price will serve. She is coming back after a broken hand injury. She's played just a handful of games this year. Ashlyn Price to serve. Lincoln View is in the white with the black shorts. Crestview is in the red with blue shorts. And in the net right away, first point will go the way of Crestview Knights. Yeah, Ashlyn Price, she broke that hand back in summer camp. This is just her third match back, and that cures your ills a little bit if you're Megan Ryan as a varsity assistant. Good to have her back on the floor. Nevaeh Ross serves for Crestview. Her serve goes long. Lincoln View is on the right side of your screen. Crestview on the left, and the serve will be Beth Hughes, 5'9", junior. The setter is Emily Lickley. And that ball is hit on the far side by Adeline Figley, and Addie is having a really good season. She is. She leads Crestview in the kill department. Starts off where she left off. She was a big part of that victory last night against Parkway. Here's Josie Colwicky to serve. 2-1 Crestview early on. Their setter wears number 16 is Price today. And that serve, that the kill attempt goes long. It's 3-1 Knights. Actually, I think that went off the block. No, you're right. I thought Crestview got a handle on that. Must have just hit the net. So it's Crestview's volleyball. But that was a good swing there by Kara Seaver. She's second, or excuse me, she's third for Lincoln View in the kill category. Colwicky serves again. 
Price is set. That's blocked at the net. Let's chalk that one up to Figley. She is there along with a teammate. Figley tied for second on the squad in blocks. Haley McCoy up there with her. Haley McCoy leads the team in that category. Price is set. The kill goes down the line by Karasiever, and it missed the sideline, and that will be Crestview Ball 5-1. Karasiever, the sophomore, she cut that one just too much, tried to find the line, but out of bounds. Kowicki serves again. Price saves it, from, and that's going to go out of bounds. It hit the antenna as it went over, and very quickly the Knights on top 6-1. I think Megan Ryan... Thinking about a timeout, not going to use it here. I think if Crestview scores here, she's going to have to. Five consecutive points. Here's the serve. Price sets again. Here's the libero sets that one. Klein, that one's blocked at the net by Byrne. Figley again. Now the libero has to set Miller, and that one is hit long. And we're looking for a touch call. We got a touch call. So that will swing the ball back to Lincoln View. It's 6-2. Give Bowersock the kill. She leads Lincoln View in that department. Klein has to track that one down. Ball's pushed over. And on the kill attempt, there's Figley. Didn't hit it that hard, but got a point anyway. Figley does a good job of going with the changeup at times. You see it in action right there. Doesn't go with the hard swing. Gets the Lincoln View defense out of sync and finds the floor. Here's Ellie Klein in her blue libero jersey for Crestview to serve that one. Allie Miller sets. Good play that time to save it by Lickley. Price sets. And Figley hits. Miller got to that one, but couldn't keep it in play. It's 8-2 nights early on. Figley with three kills already in set number one. Three of Crestview's first eight points. There's Klein to serve. Diving save by Miller. And they have to free ball it over. Crestview's going to get another opportunity. Out of the middle, that hit was by Kreider. And a lift is called. Too much prolonged contact. It's 9-2, and we will have a timeout. Timeout Lincoln View. It's 9-2. Press you early on. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. We're back at Lincoln View. Our scoreboard sponsor tonight is Loudix Jewelry, your family-owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them at 1244 South Shannon Street in Van Wert or online at loudix.com. Dave Bowen, sometimes we look at basketball. You play Friday night, you play Saturday night. A little slow coming out Saturday night, but the Lincoln View Lancers may be a little bit slow, but Crestview's come out on fire. They sure have. Great time out by Coach Ryan right there. Steady the ship a little bit here for the Lady Lancers. They need to get a good pass up to their setter and look to drive one down for a kill. Miller plays that one off the net. Kill attempt on the backside. Hughes. This time in kill attempts by Lickley. Emily Lickley, usually in the center position, goes with the spike there, hits it long. Lincoln View gets the point out of the timeout, just what the doctor ordered. McKinley Dickinson, a freshman who has been the primary setter for much of the year, she will serve. In the middle of the Figley, a good save in the back row that time, Aspaugh. Lickley will set again, and Figley will hit again. That's blocked, but it is blocked. Out of bounds. Give Figley another kill. There's some youth on this Lincoln View squad, and the up-and-comers, Brooklyn Byrne and Kara Siever and McKinley Dickinson, they've made their presence known here in the early going and will continue to do so. Growing up in front of the late Lancer Faithful's eyes are those three right here doing a nice job for the Lady Lancers. Number 29 just checks in. That, that is Madeline Berryman. She will go back to serve. Madeline is a 5-2 senior. Lickley will set. That kill attempt was by Kreider. And they're going to have to free ball it over again by Allie Miller. Dumped over. Set by Dickinson. Kill attempt by Hughes. And just free balled over. 
Dickinson is set again in the middle. This time it's tipped over by Hughes, Beth Hughes. That tip was by Kennedy Kreider. And then a kill attempt by Price. And so what's happened, Dave, is when Price is in the front row, she's a hitter. And when she's in the back row, she's doing the setting. Yeah, very versatile is Ashlyn Price. And I got to give kudos to Madeline Berryman there, too. And that long volley early on, she had a great dig. Ended in a point for the Lady Lancers. Tempted to just roll the ball over with Figley, and she couldn't get it done. Makes it 10-6. Crestview will look to go to Figley as a back row attacker throughout the match. Comes up empty there. Berryman serves again. Back set Kreider, and she hits it off a blocker and will score for her team. It's 11-6. Kennedy Kreider, probably the most improved player on Coach Gregory's squad. She played varsity last year, more of a role player. She is a starter now and taking advantage of the opportunity. Lily Best comes in to play in the front row. This will be a set for Beth Hughes. Lickley just punches it over, and... Got called for prolonged contact. Got her hand under the ball and pushed it across. It's 11-7. Good hit by the Lady Lancers. Crestview unable to pass effectively up to the setter. The air occurs. Allie Miller serves. And that is overpass. Lickley couldn't get to it. It's 11-8. So after running out to a 9-2 lead, Lincoln View getting back in the match. Got their legs under them now. They're coming at the Lady Knights here in set number one. Big lead from behind the 10-foot line. That is a beautiful shot, Dave. Eight ball corner pocket for Addie Figley. When she's in the middle of the back row, she's got all kinds of decisions to make. Go left, go right, go straight down the middle. The defense not quite set up. She finds the hole in the back corner. And that'll be an ace, the first one of tonight. That one goes to Kennedy Kreider to make it 13-8. Kreider leads Crestview in that department. To Miller. Here's the set. That ball's tipped over by Emma Bowersock. Back set, and Figley got too much contact. Addie Figley plays... All positions for Crestview, not typically a setter, but found herself in that position right there. She can do that. Tried to go with the back set, though. Double hit called. Ashlyn Price will serve for the second time in this match. Cross court, just hit by Haley McCoy. That's Emma Bowersock, and Emma's going to get a point for her team. Emma Bowersock with the kill. Great leadership from Emma, Emma Bowersock, along with Allie Miller and Ashlyn Price. They are the captains for this Lancer squad. Maybe that point will give them momentum, and they can get back to even. Price serve goes long. Makes it 14-10. I talked to Emma before the match a little bit. She also said, hey, don't forget... Lauren Anspa, she's a senior who really is verbal for us, and we all look to her. When she says something, we listen. Nevaeh Ross served. Hit out of the backside by Bowersock. And that kill, we'll chalk that one up to Lily Best. Lily Best along with um, Grace, Lydia Grace, two of the up-and-comers for Crestview. We mentioned those players for Lincoln View. Best and Grace have really come along for the night. There's an ace. Thought it was going to jump out of bounds. It did not. So Nevaeh Ross has an ace. Makes it 16-10. Nevaeh Ross, we talked about Ashlyn Price and her injury. Nevaeh Ross, you see the leg brace. She injured that in tournament time last year, volleyball, tore an ACL. Great to have her back. Klein sets. Price set that one. Really nice job on her part. Tipped over by Emma Bowersock. Figley pounds it away. Goes cross court with that one. Again, finds the corner pocket. Stops the run a little bit as far as Lincoln View trying to fight their way back into this set. Nothing like a hammer there. No need to find the tool chest. Well, you have been an AD, and the AD here, Greg Leith, is chasing the ball down in the hallway. He one does. of the many jobs you do when you're an Absolutely. AD. Absolutely. Block at the net. That one's going to go to Lily Best. It is 
How many hats do ADs wear, Dave? Yeah. Uh, kind of lose track of that, right? I know I have about 20 at home, <laughs> and that's not close. Ross serves again. She served four consecutive points. Bowersock hits. Diving play that time by Berryman. Play in the back row by Ross. She's had a really good turn here. Here's Ross's set. Free ball. See if the Lancers can use it. Hit out of the middle of that time by Brooklyn Byrne, but no. I got Haley McCoy with that block. She leads Crestview in that category, and as a result, the Lady Lancers are going to take a T.O., Mark. They are. It is 19-10 on our loudest jewelry scoreboard. Second time out by Lincoln View. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. We're back at Lincoln View. Our presenting sponsor this evening is Heritage Farm Equipment Store in Van Wert. One dealer, one brand, one goal. Excellence in part, sales and service since 2004. Crestview's on a roll here. It was 13-10. It, was it is now 19-10. Five of those on service by Nevaeh Ross. Yeah, Lincoln View was fighting their way back in, and then a couple kills by Figley and a couple blocks at the net. Crestview's extended to nine. A timeout needed to be called. Coach Ryan with the call. See if they can stem the momentum, get it switched back to the Lancer side of the net. Price sets. Hit out of the backside by Beth Hughes. Klein will set Figley. Miller plays. Price saves it on the overpass, and Miller free balls it. Tipped out of the center by is that Haley McCoy. It was, wasn't yeah. it? Yes. Short set from Emily Lickley, and Haley McCoy is able to push it across. I think Lincoln View really needs to think about getting the ball to Emma Bowersock. She's up there in that left side hitter position. She's hit some balls hard. They got to keep feeding hers. It was Bowersock right there. And after a very lengthy run of points, it is now 22 11. Really good service run that time by Nevaeh Ross. Figley to Miller. Price sets. And that one's going to fall in. That was a great dig by Allie Miller. Addie Figley hit that about as hard as you can hit a volleyball. We need a radar gun up mm. here, Mark. But give Miller the great job of getting that ball up. And uh, Lincoln View gets a point. Short serve that time makes it 21-12. On our Loudex Jewelry scoreboard. First set sponsored today by Lee Kinsel Chevrolet, and we appreciate them. Josie Kawicki will be the service this time. Price will set and hit out of the backside by Bowersock, but it comes back. 22 12. Nice block by Figley right there. Bowersock not able to get her footwork underneath her on that one. She's hit the ball with a lot of power, but on the right side, not so much on that one. Soft touch serve, popped up in the air, and Haley McCoy is there to put it away on the overpass. It is 23-12. It just seems like it should be so simple. Pass the ball to your Wait. setter. Now, we're going to talk this over because they gave the point to... Lincoln View, so obviously I was marking my scoreboard and missed the violation. I was right there with you. She must have went over the net to get the ball and while there was a Lincoln View Lancer there to play it. Tipped over that time by Hughes, but two contacts prior to that. So now it is 23-13. And Ellie Klein will serve. Price right at the net. Tipped over by Brooklyn Byrne. Figley gets it blocked right back at her, but it went out of bounds. Right there was Kara Seaver. Right there was Brooklyn Byrne. It went out of bounds, and we are at set point in set number one. That's Figley's sixth kill of the set, and hit that with a lot of power. Got to turn it in. Lincoln View unable to do so. And you can see the double contact there. as She was moving underneath the ball to get her feet set properly. And the opening set will go to the Crestview Knights, 25-13. Back in a moment, you're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. 
We're back at Lincoln View. We're ready for set number two. Our set number two sponsor is Lee Kinsel Chevrolet GMC on Irwin Road in Van Wert. Take a look at our pre-owned specials on LeeKinsel.com. Dave, your good friend, Brad Hughes, has been keeping some stat numbers for you. What do they say? Yes, Crestview with seven kills by Addy Figley there in the first set. Haley McCoy had four blocks and one kill. Lily Bess, an ace and a block. Nevaeh Ross, one ace. For the Lancers, Emma Bowersock, as we saw her hitting the ball very hard. She had three kills. Brooklyn Byrne had one block and Ashlyn Price, two kills. It all adds up to a first set win by the Lady Knights, 25-13. Our presenting sponsor tonight is Heritage Farm Equipment Store in Van Wert. One dealer, one brand, one goal. Excellence in parts, sales, and in service since 2004. What I see, Dave, as far as service, Nevaeh Ross had four points on service. and uh, Excuse me. Uh, and then number six came in, and that is Ross. And, oh, number 23 had the four points. That would be Josie Colwicky. And then Ross had six. So between them, there's ten points on service, and they did a really good job of putting Lincoln View on their heels. Yeah, that – that serve-receive is so crucial in volleyball. You've got to have a nice pass up to your setter because that sets tone. Yeah, your setter's athletic. They're like the quarterback out there on the floor, but you can't overwork them. you got to give them an opportunity to utilize all their weapons and give them an opportunity to make a decision on where they want to go with the volleyball that's going to put the defense at a disadvantage. When you don't have that good pass, it puts you behind the eight ball, proverbially speaking, right away. As I quickly look at my score sheet here, Lincoln View scored just five points on service out of their 13. And as you can, as you to point, service receive was very good for Crestview. Well, defense and serve receive is a staple of a Tammy Gregory team. Sometimes she doesn't have much height, but they are always going to bring defense to the table. And that height, what I'm relating that to, you can't teach six foot, Mark. We talk about that yeah. in other sports, basketball specifically. And uh, when you do have that height, you can get offensive. And Crestview's been doing that with Addie Figley here in the first set. Good kill attempt right to that by Bowersock. This is going to be free balled over. Here's Price's set. Back sets this time. That hit was by, Bauer, uh, by Price. Excuse me, not by Price, by Beth Hughes. And the first point of this set will go the way of the Lincoln View Lancers. Good for them to get off to a good start. No? It went Crestview's way. Ah. Uh, Nevaeh Ross, again, that whole point going Crestview's way was set up by her dig off of Emma Bowersock's swing. Emma hit it really hard. Ross able to kick it up to the setter. Free ball over by Berryman. Ball's tipped over that time by Best. Really had a good opening set. That ball is tipped over by Bowersock. Miller did a good job of keeping it alive. This will be Emma Bowersock again, and that goes off a blocker for a point. Looks like maybe the uh, point of emphasis during the set break for Lincoln View was let's get number 18, the volleyball, a little bit more. I think that is a great adjustment for Lincoln View. They tie it up here 1-1 early on. Brooklyn Burm will enter to play in the front row as Price serves. Figley. I think Miller got a hand on it, but not enough to do anything with on a powerful hit by Addie Figley. Yeah, as you can see, Mark, she brings a really nice swing to the floor for Crestview, gets them offensive. I, I know I mentioned uh, I put her in the same category as Ellie Fullenkamp from St. Henry and Sienna Fry from OG. I know we got a long way to go in the season, but right now she's really swinging it well. Good hit that time by Bowersock. And right at the net to make a good play is Beth Hughes. We're tied at two. Yeah, an outstanding play by Beth Hughes, the junior. Does a nice job of putting that where they ain't. The ball finds the wood, tied at two. Kara Seaver came in to play the front row as that serve will go long. Crestview three and Lincoln View two. And, you know, unforced errors, they are part of the game of volleyball, especially with rally scoring. But with Lincoln View right now, you, you really don't want to have, you want to get your serves in and try and get that momentum switch. Good hit in that time by Seaver. And back and forth we go in the opening set. Seaver with a couple kills now, third in that category for Lincoln View. Bower Sox serves. That's another serve that sails long. So service air will give the ball back to Crestview and Eddie Figley. Is she finally going to graduate? Because it's <laughs> like she's been there for like a decade or so. 
Well, all I can tell you is that when she was a freshman, I walked into the gym and I said, who is that girl? She changed so much from junior high to her freshman year. Price will set. Put over by Seaver. And that point will go the way of Lincoln View, and nobody's been able to score on serve here in this set. Seaver does a nice job with the change up right there. As we saw in the opening set, McKinley Dickinson will enter to serve, then she will be the setter. Boy, yet another one. 5-4, Crestview. Yeah, it's just so tough. The last two serves for the Lancers have mm. been deep, and when you're trying to get things changed as far as momentum, you can't have that happen. Pickley serves, and she will come up to set. Here's Price in the front row, and she tried to roll it over and couldn't get it to fall. Right there, that's a play that Ashlyn Price uh, makes time after time, but it's just that she's just getting back into the flow of things. Good serve, popped over, set, kill attempt, and the kill attempt went long from best. It is 6-5, Crestview. Berryman will come in to play in the back row. Beth Hughes will play in the front row. And Berryman will serve, 5-2, senior. Good serve. That was a really good job keeping the ball alive. That was tipped over by Hughes. Kill attempt, put away, give Beth Hughes credit for that one. Nice swing by Beth Hughes. High points it and then drives it into the corner. Ellie Klein gets a hand on it, but that's all she could get on it. Point, Lincoln View. Isla Hughes wears number 30. She is a 6'1 freshman. And Beth Hughes wears 15. Beth is a 5'9 junior. We're seeing that double hit called consistently tonight. I like it. It, it, it gets called in tournament time, so we need it to be called like that consistently through the regular season. Couple of points scored on serve for, for the Lincoln View Lancers. That's blocked at the net. Beth Hughes was there for that one from the back row, and she got it in, did Figley. Back row attack for Figley, picks up the kill. Again, she's just lethal. You can see the Lincoln View defense. They really don't know where to go with the block. She's 10 foot behind the net, and she can go either way and does so right there effectively to the right corner. Kennedy Kreider is our service person as Beth Hughes hits it over. Lickley pushes it to the back row. This kill attempt would by Isla Hughes, and it went off of a Lancer. Kayla McCoy with another block. 8-7. So right now, this set is in limbo. Momentum has been neutralized. Who's going to grab hold of it here, Mark? Set. Hit on the backside by Hughes, and Isla's shot is blocked back. And Seems as though the, uh, the net play is favoring Crestview here in the last few points. Here's serve again by Kreider. And it will be free balled over. Good hit, though. What a nice hit that time by Ashlyn Price. That's a great point for Lincoln View right there. You get, I guess you give that a kill, don't you? It's you know, yeah. a backwards bump, but Crestview not in position. Allie Miller serves to her counterpart, Ellie Klein. And a roll shot that gets a point. I believe that was Haley McCoy there on the left side with the roll shot, as you said, Mark. So again, we continue to go back and forth. Crestview with the slim two-point advantage. Nevea Ross at the service line. This is where Crestview made their move in set one. Dickinson sets. Lickley will set this time, and Figley hit it off a couple of different players, and it goes to 11-8 in favor of the Knights. Figley uh -huh. goes with the changeup right there, and again, Lincoln View was expecting the smash. Did not get it. Ball's hit to Beth Hughes. Price. Lickley gets a good setup there. That, that's a difficult set and even better hit. You're right. The fundamentals of volleyball, that ball's coming from the back row up to the front, 
and you've got to have your shoulder square to the ball, not to the net, and then bring it over. Bigley does so effectively there. And then Ross misses a serve, so it is 12-9 on the Loudex Jewelry scoreboard. Comes Brooklyn Byrne in to play the front row, six-foot sophomore. And as she does so, Ashlyn Price will serve and then become the setter. And right in front of her student section. It is 13-9. This will bring Josie Colwicki in. She had a good service run in the opening set. Scored four points. Gave her team an early lead. Four points to lead right now. Price has to go get it. And I think we're going to get, yep, the illegal attack because Figley, re or, yeah, Figley reached over the net as Lickview was about to play the ball. And sometimes as a coach, you're not totally upset with that. First of all, you're thankful you got girls that are going up over the <laughs> net. Uh, but that ball is coming to the net. You want your team to be aggressive. You know, I just called it backwards, Dave. You're right. The wrong team was above the I'll, I'll get that in just a second. There's a kill that will go to Ember Bowersock. Yep. The reason it was the center, who was a back row player, directed the ball towards the net. And left her feet. And, and couldn't do that. Yeah, she can't do that uh -huh. when she's a back row player. I saw so that, that in the Florida Ohio State volleyball match a couple days ago. Should learn to look at the official, shouldn't I? <laughs> Boy, good job of keeping it alive that time. First of all, Miller and then Seaver. Figley's going to get a hit. Miller goes and gets that one. Figley and Miller again. How about the play by Allie Miller at this point? Outstanding. And that's blocked, and it was going to fall. Haley McCoy <sighs> with a big block. But you got to give credit to Allie Miller. She's got that blue shirt on for a reason. Yes. And she was executing back there for her team, giving it all 100% plus. Here's Allie Klein. Libero for Crestview. Price will set. And right at the net to block is Figley. From way back behind the net was Bowersock trying to make a play. And it's now 16-10 on Alex Jewelry scoreboard. Crestview, Klein again. Yeah, Crestview starting to... Pull away a little bit. They score here. You got to think about a timeout. And somebody's in the net. That number 12 is in the net. That's Kara Seaver. It is 17 10. And this is going to be a Lincoln View timeout. We're going to take a timeout also. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Carry Insurance is tonight's premier sponsor in Grover Hill. Call or stop by so we can assist you with all your insurance needs. We appreciate their sponsorship. Dave, you've got some numbers for us. Yeah, I just want to talk about these two programs. Again, Tammy Gregory leading the Lady Knights. It's in her 19th season. Last year they were 23-3. and Fell to Tiffin Calvert in the regional championship game. A state semi-finalist semi a year before. Crestview has 22 Northwest Conference championships. Tammy Gregory with a record of 318 and 132. Janine Evans, again, not here tonight on the D.C. trip, but she's 162 and 141. Six championships for the Lady Lancers. That point will go to Kara Seaver. And to finish that thought up, um, they fell to Ottaville last year in the sectional semi. Finished the year last year 11 and 12, so a great start this year at 7 and 1, looking to continue to build. Figley gets it blocked. Figley will set again. That hit will be done by Kennedy Kreider. Price will set. Seaver's going to have to free ball it over, and it went out of bounds. It'll be 18 11 on our Lalek Jewelry scoreboard. Loudex Jewelry, your family owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them at 1244 South Shannon Street in Van Wert or online at loudex.com. From behind the 12, the 10 foot line is Seaver. Hit out of the middle that time by Kreider. It is 1911. Kennedy Kreider again, much improved. She was a solid part of this squad last year, but she's asked to accept a bigger role this year, and she is performing for Crestview. A little bit of an overpass. Price saves a really nice play by her part, and then a good play by Brooklyn Byrne to get a point out of it. Yeah, nice job by the sophomore. She is 
second on this squad in the kill category. Picks one up right there. McKinley Dickinson enters to serve. 5'7 freshman. Had 103 assists on the season before tonight. Block. Good block that time. I think it was Seaver. I do too. She was there along with Isla Hughes. Seaver picks up the kill or the block, excuse me, and she is second in that category for Lincoln View as well. Very quickly looking at my score sheet, hoping it's accurate. Lincoln View has just three points this set on serve. Crestview's serve receiver has been very good today. And likewise, Lance Lancers have missed a few serves too. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go with number seven, Emily Lickley to serve. Good serve from her right to Miller. Roll shot over by Will Price, and that will fall, and Lincoln View will get a point out of it to make it 2014. Ellie Klein goes up to her setter, Emily Lickley, and says, my fault. Just pass that ball too close to the net. Lincoln View gets the point, cuts it to six. Here's Lickley to set. And she set it just a little bit far. One of the few errors that she has made this evening makes it 2015. As Madeline Berryman will serve again, trying to get her team back in it. They trail by five. Good serve. Hit on the backside by Lily Best, and Lily will get a point. Lily's had a nice match. She's just one of those program kids. Um, Mark, that every team needs. She just comes in, does her job, played JV last year as a sophomore, and is taking advantage of the opportunity to be on the varsity floor and contribute to her team. Kennedy Kreider will serve that one. Tipped over and point for, for uh, Ashlyn Price. Ashlyn Price puts it in the campfire right there. Nobody to get it for Crestview. Price, a heady player again. Played last night, third match of the season tonight. Really working hard out there, very impressed with her. Just free balled over that time by Figley. This hit will be by Bowersock. And Lily Best was winding up to hit it, but double contact will go against the Crestview Knights. It's 21 17. And that will be a Crestview timeout. They still trail, they still lead by four. Watching high school volleyball on WOSN. For all of you in favor of shameless self-promotion, the three wise men are back with their podcast. Danny Holbrook, Miles Holiday, and Nate Garlock. Each week to assess local football matchups, Buckeye football, sports from across the state of Ohio. The WSN newest podcast, the three wise men. And Dave. Mark, you know, we both have been a part of yeah, that podcast, I know. but they kicked us out. So we're no longer, I don't know if we were wise men to begin with. Well, I don't know about that either. Here's a... <laughs> Timeout taken, that one's gonna fall for an ace. Nicely done by Allie Miller, picks up the ace. Um, Crestview takes that timeout, but Lincoln View comes back with a point. I think Coach Gregory took that timeout because Emily Lickley, you know, a little wobbly here, inconsistent in the setting position. Last year, she rotated in that position with Callie Gregory. This year, it's all her. I think that was a timeout to help, help have her catch her breath a little bit, Mark. But Lincoln View gets another point. They do, and for the first time in the match, they have scored three consecutive points on service by Allie Miller. Lickley saved that one and hit to an open area and point. That was really best, wasn't it? I was trying yes. to catch. Yes, I'm trying to see who did that. 22-19 as Crestview stopped the run, and that will bring in Nevaeh Ross. Lily best with the cutter and the point. Set from Dickinson, hit by Price. Klein will set to the front row to best. Miller's gonna set this time. It will go to Ashlyn Price. Here's Figley. And Addie Figley hits it through a block, makes it 23-19. Each team has a timeout remaining, and we're gonna get one right here. And we're gonna take a break also. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Our scoreboard sponsor today is Loudex Jewelry, your family-owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them at 1244 South Shannon Street in Van Wert or online at loudex.com. Go a little Ray Parker Jr. on you. You know, Lincoln View is making a run there. Crestview 
Who are you going to call if you're Coach Gregory when you need a point? You're going to call Abby Finkley, but Lincoln View comes right back. They do. To go to Bowersock, and she puts one away. That means the score goes to 23-20. Ashlyn Price rotates to the back row to serve. Emma Bowersock playing like a senior should, trying to keep her team within striking distance here in set two. And it got out of bounds. 24-20, set point. Ellie Klein, a heady play on Crestview's side of the net, and it should be from her. She's been in a uniform forever as well. Is, is, it, a, is it a law you have to have a Klein on the field <laughs> in every sport that Crestview plays? It, it seems like it. It's been very good for Crestview Athletics, the Klein family. Here's Bowersock. Yeah. Emma hits it to Klein at the front row. That hit was by Beth Hughes. Figley pounds it away, and Crestview will take set number two. 25-20, back with set three in a moment. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. We're back at Lincoln View, where Crestview's taking a two sets to none lead over the Lancers. Our sponsor for set number three is Lee Kinsel Chevrolet GMC on Irwin Road in Van Wert. Take a look at our pre-owned specials at LeeKinsel.com. And again, Dave, your friend Brad Hughes, giving us some stat numbers. Where they tell you through yeah, two sets? Yeah, Brad's doing a great job. Unofficially official. How's that sound as far as the numbers here in the second set? For Crestview, Addie Bigley had seven kills and three blocks. Haley McCoy had three blocks. Lily Betts had three kills. And Ellie Klein, the libero, had five digs. For Lincoln View, Allie Miller, the libero, she had three digs and an ace. Emma Bowersock had three kills, as did Kara Seaver and Ashlyn Price. Seaver also had one block. Appreciate uh, Brad helping us with those stat numbers. Always nice to have a few things like that. Took the upcoming schedules for these two teams. On the 12th, LCC will be at Crestview. And then on the 14th, the Knights will be going to Kaleida. The 14th, we'll see Lincoln View at Shawnee. The 16th, at Parkway. A very talented team that Crestview beat last night. We're into set three. Here's a set out of the middle. Billy Best. 1-0 Knights on our Loudix Jewelry scoreboard. You're drawing up a bump, a set, and a spike. I think that's what you would diagram. You'd show that highlight film at the Little Night Summer Volleyball Camp next year. Price will set. Bowersock tips it to the back row. Set. Figley just rolls it over that time. Good set that time by Miller. Figley again. This time she gets the, the hard hit blocked back. Klein will set. And that kill will go to Lily Best. Lily Best probably having her best match of the year. Found a lot of confidence last night in sets four and five to Lily Best, and she's continued that in her play this evening. An ace. That one got over the net and just died for Ross. It's 3-0 early on. See Lily Best dad down here. I bet he's got a big smile on his face. Yeah. Crestview golf coach and newly anointed Van Wert basketball coach this year. That kill attempt was by Emma Bowersock. It came up short into the net and very quickly on this set number three. And I'll start out for the Crestview Knights at 4-0 until that one goes in the net. It's 4-1. Our premier sponsor tonight is Carrie's Insurance in Grover Hill. Call her, stop by so we can assist you with all of your insurance needs. Randy Carey, the owner and proprietor. He was a line judge in our JV match. Killed by Addie Figley, the six-foot senior. Comes Josie Kowicki in to serve. She's on a string with Emily Best. She plays back row. Best plays front row. It's 5-1 Knights set. Kill attempt. Seaver. And she's going to get a kill. Ross was unable to play it in the back row thanks to the power. It's 5-2. Kara Seaver with a nice swing there. Footwork on point. High points the ball. Drives it down. She's just going to get stronger. She's a sophomore. Bowersock serves. Figley out of the middle. So what you're seeing from Maddie Figley, you very well may see from Kara Seaver in two years as a senior. Um, the way Seaver's playing as a sophomore reminds me of Addie Figley when she was a sophomore. 
Klein will serve again. Set. This will be Ella, Isla Hughes. Figley again. What do we got? Double contact. It will go to Crestview as makes the score 6 3. You know, we didn't mention throughout the broadcast yet some honorable, or excuse me, some conference honors. Addie Figley, a first teamer for Crestview. Emma Bowersock, a first teamer for Lincoln View. We'll finish those up after this play. That's a first teamer hit right there. Yes. Ellie Klein, honorable mention for Crestview. Ashlyn Price, honorable mention for Lincoln View. Beth Hughes, a second teamer for Lincoln View. Uh, Casey Gregory, honorable mention for Crestview. And Tammy Gregory was NWC Coach of the Year last year. Figley served that one. This ball will be set to Isla Hughes. Good hit from being well off the line. Kill attempt by Kreider. Seaver hit that one. Figley from behind the 10-foot line. Comes back at her. Ella Ellington. Ella Elling was there to block, but not necessary. 7-4. One of the few airs Figley has had from her back row attack. She's been lethal in that position throughout the match. Puts that one in the net. Good job by Kreider to get that ball inside the antenna. And... Unable to get to it because up into the crowd was Dickinson, so the, the point will go the way of the Crestview Knights. Yeah, I can't emphasize enough what you just said, Mark, because that was a tough play for Kreider to get it inside the candy cane, and she does and gets the point. That hit was by Beth Hughes. Figley will set a teammate. This set goes to Emily, to Emily Best, and she just roll shots it over with some power to it. Dickinson sets. Back set to Figley, free ball, see if the Lancers can use it. Good pass, here's Dickinson, and tipped over by Price. And then Best hits, and she gets another point, 9-3. And what we saw in that volley has sort of been the theme of the match. Crestview's been able to get some sets where their hitters can hit the ball with authority. Lincoln View's had some sets where they've had to dink the ball a little bit more, and that's been the overall difference between the two teams this evening. I think we got a, a Crestview Knight in the net. We do, as they got uh, Kennedy Kreider for being in the net. And that's going to make it 9-5. Lickley will set, but she overpassed it, and then... The ball was pushed out of bounds, and I think we've got Kennedy Kreider in the net, too. So a little bit of a sloppy play from Crestview, who's played very well this evening. Cuts the lead to 9-6. You want to work on those, those things. Lickley trying to go with the back set, unable to connect. That's a back set that will go to Kreider, and it was hit out of bounds, so it's 9-7. Went off the tape and out of bounds. No touch at the net. Lincoln View fighting their way back here in set three. Scored four consecutive points. Three of them, of course, on service by Miller. Best. And once again, Emily Best, Lily Best comes through and hits the ball through a blocker to make it 10-7. I very quickly looked through my score sheet. I think Lincoln View has led just once. In set two, they were up 7-6. Other than that, it's been a Crestview night. And that ball is going to be a banged around and be a point ends up on the side of the Crestview Knights as they were headed to four hits, 11-7. Miller saved it, but nobody could get to it to make a play. That makes it 12-7. I think Coach Ryan's got to think about that timeout. There's no tomorrow right now. She thought about it. it didn't pull the trigger on it. Here's another good serve by Kreider. Bowersock hits it over. This will be best. And Lilly. Oh, what a good save in the back row that time by Berryman. Lickley will set again. Figley from behind the 10-foot line. And she scores again. 13-7. And she's thinking about it, but she can't pull the trigger yet. Just Madeline keep. Berryman, you're right. Just a gritty play to make that save there. Link of you unable to come up with a point, but what outstanding effort, determination, and grit by Madeline Berryman. And that serve went a little bit long. 
Our presenting sponsor today is Heritage Farm Equipment Store in Van Wert. One dealer, one brand, one goal. Excellence in parts, sales, and service since 2004. Ashton Price will serve this ball. Quickly will set. Good play by Miller. And double contact. Haley it's McCoy with, with the kill. 14-8. Opening match in NWC play for this year. Crestview, the three-time defending Northwest Conference champions. Lincoln View last won in a try sharing or three-way tie with Lincoln View, Crestview, and Lipsick in 2020. Just a quick set right there, popped it up in the air, and Brooklyn Byrne put it away. And with that, Beth Hughes will serve. Rolls one across the tape. Figley, two blockers there in the presence of Byrne and Seaver, but point goes to Crestview at 15-9. Josie Kowicki will enter to serve. Price sets. Seaver hits. Short set. Pushed over that time by Haley McCoy. Good play in the back row. Good job running it down by Lauren Osbach. And Figley gets a good wind up. This will go to Bowersack. What a pass that time by Klein. Good play that time by Bansbach. She's had a good point here. And then hitting it out. Kayla Kayla, McCoy yeah. missed. She tried to go with the cut spike. And it goes out of bounds. Great play by Lincoln View at the net on that particular volley. Got a couple of hands on blocks. They didn't block it um, for a point, but they slowed it down and allowed their back row to get after it. Diving attempt that time to make a play by Josie Kowicki, but couldn't make it. And that means it's 15-11. Crestview loses, or uh, Lincoln View keeps the serve. Lincoln View gets a point or two here, and they're right back in it. And missed a serve long. It is 16-11. Emma Bowersock would like to have that serve back right there. Price sets. Isla Hughes hit that ball. See a good play by Klein to stay on the floor and hit the ball over. And then a kill will go by the way of Kara Seaver. 16-12. Kara Seaver has taken advantage of her opportunities tonight, Mark, when she's been able to get a good swing on the ball. More often than not, it's been a point on the Lancer side of the scoreboard. Tipped out of the middle. Price will set. Isla Hughes tips that one over. And here's Klein from behind the 10 foot line. Dickinson will set. That kill will go to Ashlyn Price. Nice swing by Ashlyn Price right there. You're right, we've seen her set, we've seen her hit. All about timing and meshing with your teammates as well. And uh, Lincoln View just keeps improving in that area with Price out on the floor. Block. Bigley just tips it that time. Price is there. Dickinson will set. Isla Hughes gets this hit, and she gets a point out of it as she hits it through Kennedy Kreider and Emily Lickley. Isla Hughes, another pop. She's just a freshman. Give her the kill. Lincoln View, really good young out there. 16-14. Kreider will get this hit. Dickinson will set again. Isla Hughes gets another swing. Klein gets to that one. Good set to Figley. Good play in the back row. And well, you can't pop it up here like that to Figley. How about the play, though, by Lauren Anspach? Yeah. She's had several good plays here in this set. She sure has. Lauren Anspach digs that first one out. You can say, well, she overpassed it, but she was fortunate enough just to dig it out. And then Figley does what Figley does. And Figley the serves. One. Yep. Yeah. Hughes hits that one. Kowicki's going to have to free ball it over. It does, does get over. 
Block and staying in bounds is Lickley. Now she's a front row player. That's legal. 18-14, and we're going to get a timeout that will go to Lincoln View. Back in a moment, you're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. We're in the third set, Crestview 18-14, forces a Lincoln View timeout. Dave, you've got a big match on Thursday night. St. Henry comes up with Coldwater, two of the top teams in the state and in the MAC. Yeah, one and two in Division Six. Uh, Nikki Etzler's Coldwater squad has not lost a set yet this year. And then St. Henry had a big win over New Bremen a couple of weeks ago, a game we had on WOSN, 3-0 at New Bremen. It's going to be a fun one, the MAC title on the line. Hyla Hughes got that one and put it away. That, air, that match is played Thursday night. It will air on Friday night on the WOSN. 18-15 coming out of the timeout. And to serve will be Madeline Berriman. Lickley tips it over. Kreider hits it right to Dickinson. Free ball for a crush view to use. Lickley sets. Kreider hits, got it off a hand, and she scored a point. It's 19-15. Kreider out of the middle hitter position, gets the point. As we said, Lincoln View, good young. We mentioned McKinley Dickinson's name a lot. She's a freshman. They won the JV match tonight as well, 2-1. to one. So a bright future for Janan Evans' team. Dickinson tracks that one down right at the net. The kill attempt by Beth Hughes. And Klein has to free ball it. See if Lincoln View can use this one. Price hits. Klein sets. And then Isla Hughes, freshman, made a mistake. Dave. Yeah, that's, she, a, that's a mistake she won't make no, as time goes along. She would like to have that one yep. back right now, talking about time. But can't do that here. It was a change up, and she was unable. It took as big as a watermelon. She wasn't able to get it over. Best. And Lily Best scores again, 21-15. Her footwork over there on the left side, outside hitter, she just is so very good and has been good for the Lady Knights this evening. Short serve, one of the few service errors this evening that Crestview has made. And Allie Miller will serve. Lincoln View needs a run here in set three. Kreider pushes the ball to the middle. Dickinson does a good job of keeping that up in the air for a teammate to use. Here's Best. This time she takes a little off it and just finds an open spot. Puts it in the middle of the campfire. Again, I got to tip my cap though to Beth Hughes. She was twisted in a direction that you wouldn't normally want to see a volleyball player, but she was able to get that ball over the net with some velocity. Kennedy Kreider's serve. Price hits. Best again. Miller will set Price. From behind the 10-foot line, Kreider just missed the tape. 22-17, Crestview on our Loudex Jewelry scoreboard. Brooklyn Byrne enters. And when she does, Ashlyn Price serves. That time best, one of the very few hitting errors she has had this evening. Hit it into the tape. It was going to be a four-touch. 22-18. Emily Lickley with the high set. Sometimes you have time to think, and that's the worst thing that can happen. Pushed across for a point by Haley McCoy. It's 23-18. Knights two point away from taking a three set victory here in the opening night of Northwest Conference play. Nevaeh Ross serves. Tipped over, that will be a point for Emma Bowersack. 23-19. Like Lily Bess on the left side for Crestview, Emma Bowersock on the left side for Lincoln View has been a go-to. She picks up the point right there. Four-point deficit. As you said, Lincoln View can't exchange one for one. They've got to go on a run. 
Set. Block. Good block. And then Figley will hit it out of bounds, just trying to keep it alive. Good block on the far side. I think Bauer Sock was over there. And maybe Seaver, too. Here's a set. That's blocked back. That time Bowersock was there along with Byrne, and it's 23-21. Here come the Lancers. Yeah, Coach Gregory, you might be thinking about a timeout right here. The team's just sort of in a little bit of a melee right here. Got to dig in and get after it. Lincolnview will take advantage of it if you don't. Figley's shot's blocked. Klein tracks it down, and Lickley has to free ball it over. And that's going to end up being a point. Good hustle by Allie Miller. Lake of you tried to keep it up, but the one-armed bandit goes to the backcourt where nobody is. Crestview now at set and match point. 24-21, and Josie Kowicki will enter 5-5 senior, and she serves. Price sets in the middle. It's blocked. Point, Haley McCoy. Point, Crestview Knights, and they will take set number three at 25-21. Crestview with the win puts themselves in the driver's seat as far as these two programs are concerned in the Northwest Conference. There are some other teams that want to have a say about knocking Crestview off that perch, Bluffton being one of them. They've had a good season up to this point, but Crestview with the win since 2007, they have now... They now lead the series against Lincoln View 15 to three and have a four match winning streak. Our JV match tonight was won by Lincoln View. That was a three set match and a very good one this evening. Lincoln View won the opening set of the JV game 25-17. Crestview won 26-24. The third set went to Lincoln View 25-21 in our JV match this evening. Scores in this particular set. Opening set went to Crestview 25-13. Then they won set two, 25-20 and 25-21 for the Knights in set number three. Crestview will go to five and two on the season. They are now one and zero oh in Northwest Conference play. Lincoln View will drop to seven and two, and they are zero oh and one in the Northwest Conference. Crestview will play LCC on Thursday evening, and. Uh, not till Saturday for the Lincoln View Lancers. They will be at Shawnee for a noon match. Dave? This is a good night for both programs. Lincoln View, they, they don't come up with a set win. They fall 3-0. But there's a lot of positives out on that floor for Coach Ryan and then Coach Evans when she returns from the sixth grade uh, trip to D.C. Does a nice job does Lincoln View um, in a lot of aspects, and they are really good young and they are just going to get better. And Ashlyn Price being in that routine, I think, you know, conditioning was a factor for her as well. Third match back, played last night. She's got to get her feet under her yet. Yeah. Tammy Gregory and the Lady Knights, they come away with a win. Maybe as the match went on, Coach Gregory isn't going to be as happy with how her team performed, some unforced errors, and maybe just not with that overall enthusiasm that you want to see consistently. But it's still early. Like we said, the first match of conference play, you'll take the win, especially on the road. Brad Hughes has been doing some stat numbers for you. Do you have any final thoughts on stats? Yeah, for the match, Allie Figley, or Addie Figley, excuse me, she had 20 kills and three blocks. Lily Bess had 10 kills and one ace. They, they were the leading uh, players for Crestview. For Lincoln View, Emma Bowersock, she had eight kills. And Ashlyn Price, both in the setter and the hitter position, she had six kills. I want to thank the athletic director here, Greg Leith. Appreciate all of his work. Our sponsors today have been Loudix Jewelry. They sponsored our scoreboard. Our set sponsor tonight was Lee Kinsel Chevrolet GMC, premier sponsor Carry Insurance, and our presenting sponsor was Heritage Farm Equipment. Well, thank Jacob O'Neill. He did our camera work and all of our technical work this evening. He will take this back to the station and edit it all together. Thank you, Dave Boone, Dylan, for your work this evening. Crestview takes a three-set win over Lincoln View to open up NWC play. You've been watching High School Volleyball on WOSN.